Hold right there. You haven't subscribed to this channel, haven't you? You should probably do so because we're closing in on 100,000 subscribers. Make sure you join the club, the Before 100k club. Today, we're going to be showcasing the physical Hercules, finally easy aid. We've gone through his details before. I don't think he's that promising, but hey, I might be mistaken, right? His stats are now 8,473 defense, 13,000 attack, 13,000 HP. Earthbred fighters, 77% lead and 3 key, as well as physical types, 3 key and 50%. Massively raises defense, so that's a 100% defense increase. Might be the thing that saves him. High chance of massively raising attack as well for one turn. So maybe he's doing some good damage here. Who knows? That extra 100% might come through. Defense plus 200% and high chance of all enemies attack defense minus 20%. Attack plus 150% when performing a super attack. Two key and additional attack defense plus 50% and seals the attacked enemy super attack. When there's a world tournament category enemy or another world tournament category ally attacking the same turn so this is pretty nice you definitely need world tournament category allies to really buff this guy up and uh this extra seal is kind of cool it's more of a super battle road character not like he was needed in to begin with but he's an option at the very least now also you get a high chance of launching additional super attack when the target enemies attack and defense down status which of course um Paired up with his lowering attack and defense, that actually is pretty helpful. Although, on top of your content, that's not going to really work too much. Performs a critical hit when the target enemy's super attack is sealed. So, at least all of his kit is synced up to him alone. So, you don't need to rely on another unit at the very least. High chance of reviving HP by 50% uh, when KO'd, starting from the 6th turn onwards. It has to be this character only. I wish that was a bit higher of a chance, but we're not going to showcase that. If you haven't seen my previous... TUI Hercule Showcase. I did go through the revive. I don't want to go through that today's video. Do we get the revive? We do. Thank God. <laughs> thank God. Uh, please, man. Yeah, this is uh, a flawed, a flawed res resurrection because it's six turns takes forever, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's see what we have here. One link activated chatting limit. Couldn't get the links. I didn't bother link leveling him on the two brand new links. I didn't think it was worth it for me. But 100,000 defense start of turn. He gets the... Oh, there's actually no world tournament category character right now. So he's missing the 50% attack and defense. And then uh, he will pretty much double his defense on the super. 100%. So he's at 200,000 defense. And he's attacked at 1.4 million. Definitely go with additionals on this guy. Because if you can get double chance or triple chance of massively raising attack, it's going to help a lot. In this case, it wasn't really helpful that uh, he didn't have a world tournament category ally attacking the same turn. But he will next turn at the very least. So... Let's just go through this. Try not to do too much damage. We're linking him up with the uh, Boo and Hercule, of course. Support for them in the World Tournament category. So, all is good. Let's just hope... We probably will kill here, let's be honest. Yamcha's not that strong, you know. I feel like he's one of those Doken events that, like... Way weaker than expected. We're just beating him one face. Alright, so here we go. Hercule is now at 200,000 defense start of turn. He had another support here. Would have been actually pretty cracked. Um, for start of turn stuff. Like, you definitely... If you're going to run this rotation, you definitely have to have physical Hercule first up. Because AGL is just not there until he's like... Four or five super attacks in at the very minimum. Um, let's see how his attack goes, though. I just... Two million attacks is just not good. Even if our post super, he's getting like 400,000 defense. It's just not worth it because his attack... Like, you need to invest so much in this one rotation. Because, like, you need obviously all of these links to get him to that defense and attack stat worthy. That your attack that turn means nothing. And you could rather just use something else, really. This is actually good, though. Um, I get to 
kill this Yamcha here instead of that last turn. But yeah, if you, if you understand what I mean, like, instead of, like, the Hercule and double Hercule rotation, I could run, like, Vegito Blue and Vegin and Trunks. So you know what I mean? Like, something way stronger and still better defensively, in a way. Anyway, uh, let's see what he's at now with the 50% support, 249. So, I mean, post-Super, he's pretty good. Like, 500,000 defense at a minimum. Right, and this is only with a free-to-play leader. Like, if you had double Yamcha for the 200%, then that's pretty good. But, like, who are you going to... He's not the best in the first slot. He still needs a super attack. I'd say maximum additional and then the rest dodge would be an ideal play. Um, yeah, if there was another Hercule, or, like, a character that's not named Hercule that links up really well with him, that activates all of his defense links, like Hero, World Tournament Reborn, uh, World Tournament Champion, Money, 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 and Champion Strength as well for the 5% damage reduction, then, and that was, like, strong and defensively good, then you could actually make this work, for sure. He's attacks at 2.8 here. Hopefully we get the additional... No, we do not. Dude, we just did... It's pretty funny, though. Like, it is definitely more of a jokish character. It's pretty funny that after he supers... Like, this... It was like that Hercule, but, like, pretty... Even funnier. Yeah, we're just gonna kill this Yamcha, aren't we? Unless... Nah. Krillin's just... Gonna do so much damage. But yeah. That's pretty much it for the Hercules. He's very, I guess, one-dimensional. Very good defensively. Attack-wise, not gonna get there. Uh, unless he's, like, double supering. You get double high chance. Uh, it's just it's just not worth it. It's just not worth running him. He'll be good in some scenarios. Where, like, a category restriction or something like that. But if you had the choice to run him or not, probably not gonna be running him at all. Uh, it's just too much of an investment to bring on the team. With that said, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. Check out my social medias, link in the description. Let me know what you guys think about this Hercule. Am I wrong? Am I... Is my opinion wrong? Let me know. Uh, until the next one, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.